Homelessness is affecting all of our communities. The number of families becoming unhoused is growing. Encampments are becoming ever larger and there are more and more people dying on our streets. To effectively address the homelessness crisis, we have to begin by slowing down the number of families and individuals who are falling into homelessness. Clearly, our current renter protections are not enough or we would not be seeing such a rapid rise in homelessness. This bill addresses gaps in our current renter protections in order to slow the flow of families into homelessness. Despite all the policy interventions and money that the legislator has spent on addressing the homeless crisis, the number of Californians experiencing homelessness is 157% of what it was in 2010. This is outrageous. In the latest homelessness count, there were more housed, unhoused individuals than reside in entire cities of Oceanside, Salinas, and Garden Grove. These disturbing trends will continue to worsen if we do not effectively and proactively address the root of the problem, and that is housing affordability and protections. The state's eviction protections ended in June of last year. Many local moratoriums are set to expire if they have not already. This bill provides California, Californians some housing stability and reduces the number of people on the brink of homelessness. We should not let any more families get pushed out onto the streets. It destabilizes their lives. It destabilizes their kids' education. It causes trauma and affects their community as a whole. Let's be proactive in ensuring that everyone has a place. Everyone has a place to live. Our home is sacred.